What's up guys, welcome. Welcome to today. Um, we're going to be restarting a new character. I've been using my main character, this one, Daily Fix, as... At just a level. I just didn't have much time during the, um, the last few weeks. Probably won't have that much time next week as well. Um, but I do want to get another character starting. To really dive into the MSQ as well as some of the blue quests. I've skipped a lot of the blue quests. And I shouldn't have done that. It just takes away some of the um, progression, some of the story. And I think it's sad. But I do want the, uh, a character that I can level. You can say, yeah, you could have started a new character. And then level that up and use that as your main. I, I didn't feel that was um, right. <laughs> so, here we go. We're going to be starting a new character. And I'm actually not going to be creating it. Um, I've created it. And it's going to be one of these... I uh, asked on Discord, what should I, um, what should I do? And apparently, I had to go uh, as a female character. Sure, why not? We'll do, we'll do that. Usually I don't, but let's do it for now. Let's confirm over here. Uh, actually, I should, I am already know that this is saved. Uh, as from, uh, I think it's that one, two, three, four, five, yeah, uh, 15th, confirm that. I don't know, this, this, I don't think this makes, it doesn't, does, doesn't do anything. So, I've been thinking, I've been thinking, and apparently there is two characters that I like, there's one city I don't like, and guess what, both of the characters I like um, is uh, the Arcanist and the Marauder, and I want to have both of them, why? Because later on when you go and do the duty uh, finder and stuff like that, like your daily roulette, it has this indicator, which it says like you'll get a bonus if you're starting either as a tank, maybe as a healer, and it's usually one of those two, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, and it's usually the main storyline, it's where they ask for a DPS. So, I'm going to be starting in Limsa, and this is my least favorite town. I struggle immensely with the way they speak and you will suffer with me that's basically how it will go let's go with a marauder and when we are level 10 uh, we are going to be picking up the arcanist why the arcanist because it actually fulfills three classes with this selection the marauder is a tank the arcanist will go into the scholar and the arcanist can go into the summoner so we have a DPS, we have a healer, we have a tank. I think that's nice. I will definitely pick every other class. But we're going to be focusing on Marauder. And then at some point we'll take on the Arcanus. I say level 10. I'm not sure if I want to go that far. So yeah, enough talk. Let's go confirm this. And now we're going to go on the Aoife. And I will select another one. I don't want to go to Genova. I want to be on Adamantoys because that is where we have our free company. Let's confirm this. And here we go. This is the one that I think is absolutely annoying. Because I, I don't know names. I'm not good at them. Uh, I like mine. Or Ume. I can actually remember that. Ume Doshin. Ah, let's go with mine. I like mine more. Mine Doshin. Hopefully it is actually... Ah, that is, that's a bloody shame. Uh, how about Ume? Like what it was. Ume. Okay. So, with that, before I click that... Uh, what's the name? Can I see that somewhere? So I actually have it in the tooltip. Uh, yeah, let's press it just okay. Let's see. I'll, I'll stop talking because of the cinematics that we'll have in a second. And then I'll explain what I will do. Because we're actually going to be logging out of the game. Shutting it down completely. And loading in my UI settings from my other character.
I love that. I love that start part when you get your gear as a marauder. So much better than with the other one. So, oi, you're all right, lass. Uh, also, I'm, I'm not good at voice acting, so let's not do it. I struggle enough as it is with uh, just pronouncing. Oh, dude, you are creeping the hell out of me. So you were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling of the ship um, got your... Uh, rolling of the ship got your stomach... Uh, Chur churin, has it? See, that is this is precisely what I mean. There's so many of these, these, these. I, I don't really have a good mouse for this. There's a, one of these commas, and I think they I struggle with them a lot. So I'll do my best, but do forgive me in advance. We only get into this town because I really like these two classes. So <clears throat> don't seem uh, don't seem like seasickness now. That I, now that I look at you, uh, it will be the Aoife then, I reckon. I will definitely increase the size of this, but we'll do that once we have some control over the character. Some are more sensitive to this stuff than others. See, and we ain't too far from Vibrant now, uh, which is a clock full Aoife right. A chock full of it, right? No need to fret though. You will soon get used to it. Sure, we'll do that. <laughs> uh, might as well have been Bloomin' Seek Sickness. The ship's, the ship's leaning around like a, a demented chocobo today. Wow! <laughs> nice. I reckon it might, um, I might check out on deck, get myself a, f a breath of fresh air. Limsa is still far away off. In case you were wondering, seems as uh, seems as you're awake and all now. How about you keep me company till we get there? I think that's a good idea. Uh, the young ones don't care much about conversation. See. So any road reference the name Pedalins mid trade. Okay, so he is a peddler, goods peddler. I like that. Smell the salty sea breeze. Now then, lads, judging by your unusual garments, I would say you're one of those new adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. Going where the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that is what I call living. Then why don't you become one? As long as you can avoid dying. I mean, ain't no secret that adventure is a risky business these days especially. What is, um... 
what was it the that first attracted you to it okay what do we select mm. I'd say the glory I want to be glorious I think that's a good one <laughs> glory well if you're willing to take on them tasks if other folks ain't and adventuring such as yourself can win fame what coin can buy when you arrive in the town, you want to report to the Adventurers Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about adventuring business in there. Just remember though, there are more important things than f uh, fortune and glory, such as breathing. I like breathing a lot. Ain't no profit in, profit in being dead, and that is a fact. It's like they knew. It's like they knew. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Ships of the starboard bow. Pirate collars. Hey, two arms. I got my axe. I will swing at them. Pirates. Bloody hells. Okay. Um, have you no sense? Get below. youngsters don't give absolutely nothing about it what's the word coming to pirates firing and the ship flying the minion collars bastards either have a buttload of balls or buggers or for brains well uh, you can rest easy friends we've made it out of cannon range and no buccaneers bargain catch this flighty tempters once the winds got a sail, so this is a very fast ship then. There was two bloody clothes. Glad one of us kept the hats on their shoulders. I reckon I've lost mine otherwise. It's it's actually we were both saved. But it's fine. If the pirates give up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have a look, shall we? Sure, let's do that. Why not? Nothing else we can do, right? Uh, by the way, is this your first trip to Limsa Liminza? And I'll say no. I don't think this actually matters. Because I still feel we'll get a lot of the tutorial being done. Thought not. Ah. But I wager there's a few changes since your last visit. Allow me to journey it illiterate... Itinerate? To apprise you of the current state of affairs. Okay. Sure, why not? Limbs and Lemenza prides itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. Yet we were still chased away by pirates, which is okay, fine. Ain't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current Admiral's uh, civilian influence, the city state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess she was once a rum swilling buccaneer herself. <laughs> Cause most fake ain't uh, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers he got to deal with, like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the the shagin are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. They're the sea-dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks. Cause, in case you didn't know that. Okay, so if they are referring to fishback, they're referring to the, uh, the shagarins. At long last, land ho. Behold Limsalamins, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of li uh, Limsian. Lim Limlian? Goddess of Navigation.
on a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Rotano Sea lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Lominsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? Ah, I just missed it. Damn it. <laughs> that was such a nice moment to actually do the picture. I, I want to use... Every time I do one of these streams, I want to use one of the screenshots I made as a, a sort of a thumbnail for later for the vault. So, I'm off to the market to live my wares. There is, then it's on the high road for me. I wonder if we ever meet him again. Like, I've, I've actually, with my other character, I'm as close as going to the first expansion. So, yeah. So, here. I want you to have this. By ways of thinking for saving my arts uh, earlier, didn't do anything, but hey, I'll take anything. It's fine. Give me a trinket. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Consider the sort of story... Uh, become the sort of storied personage. I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Then how would you know that it's me? Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on her life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. Right? Yeah, I've been absolutely loving this game for the last few months. And it's been months now. Okay, so when we get control of the... of our character, of our persona, we are actually going to be exiting uh, I want to show you how you can easily copy your hot layout from one character to another. So you don't have to tinker constantly to get the same thing going. Um, so that is what we will do. I will also add my name to a command uh, for Twitch. And for YouTube later, it's just going to be in the description. Everyone is free to join me playing. Because that's, that's how I do it. There is a free company that we have, Global Gamers. We'll have a cross-world link shell. So if you're on the... I'm not sure if it's NA completely. Or if it's just like the Eta region. But just just add me to friends list or join the um, the cross-world cross link shell. And we do plan on running events. Like... Uh, treasure hunting as well as doing dungeons and raids together on stream and uh, for that you need to be a member of the discord community uh, links basically everywhere you can find links to it just go in there make sure you're part of the final fantasy group and just join us you know it's fine we'll see how things will go as for now it's hey you there look at him ah uh, yeah i mean you this is my district, and I'll make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. Ah, 
Yeah, it's just like, what? No way, man. Ah, oh, an adventure, a fresh of the boat, is it? Well done. Allow, uh, allow one of the limbs elements of finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lass. I ain't got all day. Alright, so now we'll get some control over it. So welcome to Limsa Liminza. Please select the role scheme you wish to use. Uh, mouse keyboard, this is going to be for now. Let's close that up. No. And now we're going to be exiting the game. So let me go to my OBS. And before I do it, so uh, Une Doshin is going to be the name. Let me add that to the stream labs. Final Fantasy tag. Name is... Net Doshin Doshin Confirm uh, Let me add that to Okay it is in there completely So if you now do exclamation mark Final Fantasy 14 Oh that is not how you type it Then you will get the tag uh, I've actually disabled um, Chat on screen For, le for now don't really have a point to it. So let's go and log off real quick. Let me get my source so we actually know what's going on. And you just go to your documents. You go to my games, Final Fantasy Real or Bomb. And there is. Uh, what's it again? I need to take a look. I think it's one of these actually, yeah, the 16th, that is not today, it is today the 20th. So this is our newest character, and I've played my other character, uh, this is 22, 4, I really think this is the one that I've played yesterday. So let's copy all of this, and we'll place that into that. We'll Definitely overwrite all of that. And now we are going to be launching the game. For that, I am actually going to be turning off my screen view. So, let me get the game launching real quick. I hit play. Now, and, and when we log in, hopefully, if I did it correctly, we, um, it's so loud. And we might have to wait until we can get in. Apparently not, that's fine. Um, the heart should change. There we go. And this is exactly the heart that I've been using for my other characters. We're currently as a Marauder. All of this, like all of this dark grey stuff, you know, we don't have it yet. We don't have it. I like timers. We don't have any of them, but that's fine. And the LCC, all of that recruitment stuff going on. I'm not part of a free company yet, but we will do. And this is, I think, one of the easiest ways of uh, getting your UI copied. So we're going to be removing all of this. Because we don't have any of that. And we're going to be pressing P, go to actions, and we see heavy swing, let's put that in there. Uh, weapons out, that's why it's grayed out. And I will tinker with it. I'm still contemplating whether or not I should just make sure you can actually see it. Um, get this a bit higher and put it onto, I don't know, like battles. Anyways, let us actually get going. Now, we need to talk with him. There is no way around it. He is going to be telling you constantly that um, you need to talk with him. So let's go with that. So, you're being recognized as an adventurer in the city state of Linza Liminza. You must first register yourself with the Adventurers Guild. And we will. Now then, 
I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventuring adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. And without a bit of local knowledge, you're likely to uh, you are like to get your wow throat slit in some piss stinking alley. I, I love it. They're so PG. So before you do anything else, get yourself to the Drowning Rich and enroll with the Adventurers Guild. Now the uh, Drowning Rich has a bartender, the proprietor, and it is so difficult because he loves speaking as a pirate. So it's not far. Just head straight down this street and speak with um, with this fella. It's Gaff Gaffa, Grafa. He'll show you how to work that big moving platform we call a lift, and they'll take you up to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow named um, Bedron, and he's the proprietor of the range. He might curse like an ale sodden sailor, but he's the man. Man's, but the man's got a soft spot for white-eyed newcomers you like yourself. It'll set you straight. Well, <laughs> that's nice. Got it all. Now, uh, good. Run along. May the navigator guide you on your journey. Let's do it. Looking forward to combat. Quest accepted. You have begun a quest. Nice. Oh, there's one thing that didn't... Apparently copy. It cannot be used. I cannot run. That's interesting. Let's go over here. So this is a sort of a mission area then. Welcome to Limsen You, you're, uh, you've got a mic. If you, if you've, wow. If you're, you have a mind to visit the Drowning Wretch. What happened? The player on my Twitch stopped. Interesting. Um, the lift will take you there. Let's go. Let's take the lift. Okay, so here is the proprietor. Veteran. Oh, and this is going to be hilarious. There we go. And greetings to you, Laz. What will it be? Ah, but you ain't here for a drink, are you? We've come, um, you've come with a mind. Um, ad is starting in one minute. For those of you who are not subscribed, you'll see an ad. If you come, um, you've come with a mind to try your, to try your adventuring. I reckon. See, I can't pronounce that. Well, you find no shortage of work here in Limsa. The name is Bedrin, and this uh, most hospitable of Austrias is the Drowning Ranch. It's also the home of the Adventurers Guild here in Limsa. That's why we've got a desk specially here for aiding guild for Adeline Guild business, and. Why I seem to spend more time saving the necks of, of whelps like yourself um, that's wet, wet in the throats on me regulars. Yeah. Why did I pick this again? <laughs> Adventurers have a neck of finding themselves in trouble, see? Now that is very true. Not that they need it in these parts on account of there being trouble everywhere you look, but you manage to if you manage to stay clear of the fishbacks and the kobolds outside the city, the pirates on the insides will get you instead. And if you don't manage, there's always the Galleon Empire to finish the jobs. Oh, no one knows what they're planning, of course, but they're planning anything. You can be sure. It's to kill a lot of us. Okay, great. Ah, this town seems pe peaceful at glance. But look again, I. You'll see a people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. And who can blame him after everything that happened? He also took a mighty blow during till the calamity. But our homes... Um, but our homes weren't the only things that got wiped off the face of existence by the... 
tries damned bastards of a dragon. Okay. It took our bloody memories to, and no one's been able to explain it in a way that makes any sense. None of the folk here saw um, it as a... None of the folks what saw it as a living to tell the tale seems to agree on how the tale actually goes. This all It's all foggy. Like recollections from a hard night on ale. You might imagine why people... You can imagine why people might fear the future if they can't recall the past. It makes a lot of sense, actually. But there's one thing we all remember. There's a group of, of adventurers what laid down their lives to drag Eorgia back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though we ain't forgotten what they did for us, this goddamn calamity spawned memory loss robbed us of their names, so we actually we don't know who saved us by name. It won't even let us picture the damn faces. It's like staring at a gull flying in front of the sun. All you see in your mind's eye is a shadow set against the blinding glare. And that's of every bugger's description. And that's how every bugger describes it, by the way. Give or take it an old gull. An old gull. Okay. It's this what got the people... Um, it's this what... My god. It's this what got the people calling these heroes the Warriors of Light. If Limsa is going to put this uh, time of darkness behind it, it's going to be needing adventurers who help banish the fear. It's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day we'll be. Uh, maybe one day you'll be one of them, and that's why the. We, and that's why any aid we give to the adventurers is effort well spent. What do you say, Les? You'll be willing to lend us your strength. Now I'm taking the boat out of here. My thanks to you. To the, um, and the navigator and all. I wish she steered you... I knew she steered you into my way for a reason. Ah, but listen to me getting all like um, on like a sun-touched sea a fishwife. <laughs> My god, the language of this guy. It's high time we got your mark in my book. Put your scroll right here. Such a friendly fella. So easy. So easy to go. Uh, Umedesen, is it? It's a fine name, is it? Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member of the Adventurers Guild. Ah, you, Adventure. You sailed with the Lost Ferry, did you not? Look at the smug on that. Oh, he's a scoundrel, right? The captains report being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Sending your friends a signal, were you? Now, hold on a moment there, officer. You've got the wrong lass. How do you know? This fine, upstanding young lady is a dear departed grandma's sister, niece, cousin's close companion. The lass wouldn't be caught dead, fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Is that right, huh? You got... Um, you are surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusting to of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends are in doubt. Ah, you make a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. You didn't... You, you needn't worry, though. I keep an one eye open at all times. Me and two more often than not. Now, sir... What do you say of me taking the finest ill for you in return in return you to your duties? Not a water town cup of piss like last time, I hope. I should hope. Wow. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. 
and got the faintest idea of what uh, what you're about officer the range might offer some of the cheapest grog this side of this strait of Merforth. Merlto. But that doesn't mean it won't get you good and pecking. And look, there is a chair over there just crying out to be set on. So kick off them heavy boots. I seriously... We will talk to this guy a lot. It pains the hell out of me. But it is what it is. You'll have to excuse the eager, eager bloody yellow jackets. There's a place and... There's a plate of kidnapping, see? There's a spade of kidnapping, see? And they ain't got a clue behind them. Naturally, you've taken to... They naturally dead taken to clapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious which means adventurous visitors and pretty much every bugger else in this town <laughs> they, they will run out of jail space if they do it like that don't take it personally though us Lim uh, uh, limonians low minzians can be a headstrong bunch of bastards it's true but given time you'll grow on they will, it will grow on you now where was I? You are actually going to send me on my way. Ah, yeah. Welcome to Limza Liminza. Where the sea is as green as the faces of me patrons after few too many black belly cheer whiskies. Ooh, I would love to try one. Now, take a moment to gather your witch uh, to which end will start with learning your ways of the town or the city. There we go. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Yeah, we all learned so much from this. And we actually leveled up. Nice. So, up here, main storyline, up here is the Way of the Marauder, which is going to be your class quest. Now, every class you can play as, and there's actually a bunch, all of these, there we go, Gladiator, Marauder, Dark Knight, Gunbreaker, Pluggalist, Lancer, Rogue, Samurai, Reaper, Conjurer, Scholar, Astrolian, Astrologian, Sage, Arch Machinist, Dancer, Traumater, Arcanist, Red Mage, and Blue Mage. That's a lot of quests. Then we have the Land. So these are crafting classes the Carpenter, the Blacksmith, the Armorer, Goldsmith, Leatherworker, Weaver, Alchemist, Culinarian. Most of these work together. So, if you think I'm going to be specializing myself in a carpenter, then, then think again. It's not going to work like that. So, if you're going to start crafting, you might as well level them up uh, all together. Samentamiously, I think that's a word. But, and there's always a but, Culinarian is, in my opinion, the most difficult one to do. It requires the most most uh, ingredients um you consider like the six ingredients you need with every craft this one most of the times needs all six of them now disciples of the land miner botanist and fisher fisher difficult to get your log up straight leveling not so much there is a sea ride which you eventually unlock i think it's if you're level 10 fisher and the sea ride is starting every two hours you have to sign up to it over here here with the ferry docks there's a trader up here the repairsman there's two characters up here and you can sign up for ocean fishing and ocean fishing is just i think it's like 20 minutes every two hours a trip of 20 minutes and you will gain up to eight levels it's just fishing um and stuff like that so we'll eventually do that when we start doing these quests and i'm thinking maybe like level 15 when we get uh the freedom to do whatever it is that we please I really think it's important to level at least the Disciples of the Land. Why? Because you can make money from them. Unless you're a free character. If you're free to play, because you can f play the game for free, up to level 60, storyline, storyline level 60, that means you can have a lot of characters, a lot of these classes. Every character, every class can go up to level 60. So there's a lot for you to do. 
but you will not have inventory uh, outside of your character and eventually a chocobo. You, so you don't have retainers, you cannot sell on the market, you cannot trade, and you cannot use whispers. You cannot join a free company, all of that, but you can join a link shell. So if you are a free-to-play character, do let me know, and uh, we will add you to the link shell all together. So, cool. Let us now talk to Baron and just make sure that we get all of this done. So, Baron, proprietor of the Drowning Wretch, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundament fundamentals of adventuring. And it's definitely do it right away. Okay, right then. Let's start off with a nice and easy three tasks that will help you get used to the life here in Limsa. Firstly, if you head down the floor, then point your nose to the west, you'll get an eyeful of a great glowing crystal in the middle of the courtyard. That's an etherite, a device which can move you from one place to another in a blink of an eye. Ain't no swifter way to travel, providing there is an etherite where you want to go, of course. And you have the gill. And you have the gill, because it is expensive to travel. Have a chat with the yellow jacket on guard down there and it will treat you to a lecture on the working on the device. For um for you do that before you do that though, remember to touch the thing. Str um, strange as it sounds, it won't work until you have, and this is so important. You will want to do if every time you enter a map, the first thing you will do, head to the crystal and attune to it so you can actually go back otherwise you might find yourself traveling a lot even though it's not necessary in every town you will visit every major town every city state there are small ephrites gathered around the map touch those as well and you will open up uh, the exits to the town as well as the landing place so very important that you at least do that as well so Let's go to the next one. Second on the list is the marketplace. You'll find weapons, armors, and all your adventuring bits and pieces. They are for sale in the, in the district that lies beyond the Etherite. Don't go throwing your guild around just yet, though. If you get uh, fleeced quicker, wow. Though, or you'll get fleeced quicker, then you can say, where's my coin purse? Why is my coin purse so light? You um, have a word with um, Sosblad. Sosblad blade. Sosblad. Instead, he's head of the merchant league, by the way. Give him this document, and it will treat you well. So yeah, don't don't overspend there. No need for it. You will find a lot of stuff. You will get gear from your quest, and when you're doing crafting jobs, that's when you actually need a tiny bit of money. Then last, uh, for the last helpful uh, hint, I suggest you meet your fellow ex-wieldings at the Marauders Guild, it's very important. I'll guarantee you learn a new trick, uh, thing your head, uh, swinging your head splitting, new tricks uh, for your swinging that head splitter of yours. Wow, and he's called, for, just, you could have said X. Um, so join the crew. Baldor, Baldot, yeah, this fella is at the front of the desk, and that's where we get started. So yeah, we will do those quests. Um, got all that last. See you after them three tasks. Take your time. Wow. Okay. So see to them three tasks. I'll take you on your little jaunt around the city. Help you work out where everything is. Now, I've best got on... Okay, you, so just just start running. <laughs> oh my god, what did I do? Why did I start here again? Um, burger it. There I go, sending off uh, without telling me... Summit crucial? The bloody calamities made a right mess of my memory, I swear. Well, what? Well, that or the ale any road. While you're out, if you happen to pass any poor sod that looks like they might need help, 
consider giving them a tail woe of a listen. So if you come across people with a quest, check them out. Sounds like a chore, I admit, but you never know what interesting opportunities might be lurking out there. Just wait um, for you to stumble upon them. For example, uh, you have Ninja. Cool name. Over yonder has been casting a glance at you since you walled it in. Why not lend an ear and see what she has to say? Uh, you find yourself running some errors in the beginning, but you'll build a reputation as a woman folk can trust. The jobs, the jobs will get harder and the rewards more generous. And if you have the time, also check out the smith over at the range. The lads, as bear the title, have some fine advice. Have some fine advice over them. But they're just starting out in professions. And that m my girl is how you get become a legend. So this is the guild. Eventually when you're like level 15 or so. When you're traveling around. When you're entering. You're going to be entering your first dungeon. There is going to be a house at the airport. Where you can meet one of these smiths. And you will have I think it's like 7, 7 or 8 quests. 6 to 8 I think. And they will give you a way on how you properly play your class. I say properly, but they just give you like the basics on how to do things. Um, and this for a tank. And I, I will always do them. Because it's always good to do them. They will give you gear. Which is probably better than you will be using by the time you get there. So yeah. Alright, quest has been accepted, let's go take a run. Alright, Crystal is... Let's open the map. Oh, we're actually up here. So, how about... We'll start over here taking these crystal points. Actually, no, we'll go to the F castle. Then we go to the Culinarians. Then we go to the Marauders. At least then we can actually teleport back over here by using the Ephrites. So let's go and do that. Why can I not? You got to be kidding me. I actually need to take this way down. Alright, fine. I need to talk with him then. No way. You got to be kidding me. He's going to be calling me back. Ah, oh, man, he's so obnoxious. Just let me go. I think I need to talk with him. Yeah, making a name, of course. Because he was talking to it. Uh, you don't need to do these quests at all if you start this. There's so many storyline. You will level up your character way above the recommended level. That's why you eventually want to switch to another class as well. Ah, uh, well. Would you look at this new shiny new adventurer? Listen close, lass. I have some information you might help you put, uh, put on the map here. I was passing through Bulwark's Hall below not long ago and I saw a bunch of herbs just scattered around on the ground. Now I'm not entirely certain but I think I might have been it might have been black market wares known as dream flowers. Limsa Liminza is a busy port and not all the merchants are blown in across this strait. Um, and not all the merchants that blow in across the strait are above board if you know what I mean. You uh, how the plants end up in mizzenmast who knows might have been a deal gone bad the important thing is if you make a name for yourself by handling handing them in speak to skirill and she'll get you down to the first floor yeah that's all we needed to do this one then all you have to do is pick up the herbs and take them to this combination of letters and uh, at the 
Octant. Uh, being a worldly captain, he knows a thing or two about such shady goods. Fine. I like just getting freedom, but that's fine. Let's go down. And here we go. Pick up herbs. And you don't see anyone walking right now. Uh, because this is a sort of a tutorial area. And this will actually become very, very crowded. A few people starting to show. And from now on, we will actually start seeing people. Which is nice. I like seeing people in MMO this old. So, there is the Ephrite. There's the, um, the combination of letters. And you have some herbs you wish me to examine. Okay, right click over there. And that will do. Oh, yes, as you suspected, these are highly illegal blooms known as dream flowers. They're a prime ingredient in the creation of sunness, a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer's mind into sleep of death. Wow. Then I keep. Wow, okay. Uh, forgive me, I could not resist a jest. These herbs are nothing more than. Um, Altric uh, Lavender, a common enough export of Limsa Liminza. In fact, these probably spilled from crates that were loaded into my very own ship. And you lost some of your wares. I think someone has been having a bit of fun with you, miss. But not to worry. I've learned a, thing, a few things and made a few acquaintances. Well met. Great, so we get some ether shards, which is definitely needed in crafting. And we get a potion to restore some HP. Now, I will definitely be adding the potions actually to my list over here. For now. Eventually, I don't need them. But that is eventually. When I don't plan on doing a lot of things myself. Like solo. And let's go over here and attune. There we go. Now... Ah, another novice adventurer. Aye, Baldrin sent more than a few of your kind this way of late. Such a nice fella. Hey, isn't it? Didn't we see you already? I'm Sonamal, one of the Yellow Jackets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It is also my charge to provide guidance to the use of this device. Fear not. I shall be brief. I thank them for that. Etherites are crystalline structures that tap into the etherites energies. These are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. This is the second time to actually give you the information. Return and teleport are most common transportation spells that make, directly you, make direct use of the etherites and their connection to the flow of ether. And as these, uh, as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorgia, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one. Once you've expanded your horizons beyond the wall of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is, however, no need to unseemingly haste the etherites found in and around the city will be sufficed for the uh, for the present. Should you wish to learn more about etherites or teleportation magic, um, I will be here to answer your questions. No need. No need. We have now learned return. And we will also eventually learn teleportation. We should now be able to. So this one is now highlighted over here. And we can start returning. So if you click this, there's options. If you click the Ethernet, you will see these are the crystals we still need to attune to in the city. And once you've done all of these, you will get another tab with the accident exits to the city. So that will be like the mist. Uh, yeah, no, no, not the mist. Not Mist will not be in there. But uh, the western as well as... 
uh, yeah, the western Talalan and the eastern La Nostra. Ferry and all of that, but we'll get soon to that. Now, there's another thing over here. If you go to the other city-states eventually, you can add them as a favorite destination. And this will make it so you pay half the money that you would normally do. Free registration. Um, I honestly, I can't tell you right now. Must use a security token. Okay, you need to have a security token. Nice. I don't have them, so that's fine. Anything else? Home point is... Eventually we'll change this to where you would join a grand company. Because you will do a lot of that. And this seems like someone who's eventually going to be spamming uh, messages about um, buying Gil. Do yourself a favor. Never do it. Absolutely never do that. They will catch you. And they will ban you. So don't do it. Absolutely. Because we have only one option. Let's see if I can find something in here. I don't. Uh, no, not yet. You just click the name, there's one report button. And that one report button is reporting RT, RMT activities. And yeah. It will be used. I will definitely use it. There we go. It is one. Uh, you can probably see it in the name. Just click. Then report. RMT activities. Yep. Do that. And then just do blacklist. Because until he is removed, he is going to be obnoxious. Now, let's go back to battle. So, no spamming stuff. How are you doing, MC? Yes. It's not only... It's not, not spamming stuff. It is spamming... Active... Oh my god, look at that. That is so damn cute. Can I do something? Oh man, that is so nice. I love that. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, let's walk around the city using first person. And we'll start tuning to these small cri uh, crystals. Uh, I think if we go... Fisherman Guild... To Hawkeye... To Artisan... Then we can go and... Move up again. Well, it's fine. So, yeah. So, how did you like the game, MC? I know it's a lot of reading. You started recently. It will be less. It's the first 15 minutes. Or the first 15 quest is in your city state. And then you start traveling. Which is quite nice. Okay, let's start running. Man, I just like going in first person. I think I am definitely in the wrong area. No, I'm not. So, if you want to become a rogue, this is where you want to do it. Hey, Crimson Rain. I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? Welcome. So, this is where you can become a rogue. Uh, I'll just love that. And good to hear. How long have you been playing? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm gonna bake some banana bread and muffins today before I lose my bananas. Going bananas. Ah, going all minion. If you still stream by the time I've finished, I'm um, playing some more. How's your day? Um, no, I won't. Unfortunately, I need to be in the car at one to actually uh, work. But I did have some time to actually get started on this and get my character running. Which I like. So we're now attuned to the Fisherman Guild. And from now on, what we could do is you click this. And you can just tell yourself, okay, I want to go to the crystal. And there we go. So handy. Love that. How long have you been playing Crimson? I wonder. I'm curious, I should say. So here is um, Snowsblad. He's going to be teaching us about the marketplace. A fine evening to you, ma'am. 
Welcome to the most repeat marketplace in the rel the grand realm of Eorzea. Where every shelf groans under the weight of wonders born from all four corners of the world. Pray browse the stars until your eyeballs catch from ogling the overabundance of unbelievable bo unbelievable bargains. Now, as much as I would love to elaborate upon the unrivaled quality of our merchandise, I must tend to some cargo but recently arrived at the docks. Hmm. You bear a gift from Badron? Whatever could it be? There's no B, but I like this. Ah, my octant. By the navigator. I must have left it behind the range. Although, uh, al along with the week's pay of several bills worth of intoxicated memories. Um, I've had it for a week now. Oh, man. I don't know how long it's been a trial player for so long, but I finally got... Man, congratulations. I loved... I've been playing for months now. And I'm almost at the first expansion. And... But I was skipping so much that I had to redo a character. So, uh, welcome, man. If you... We're going to be doing... Like, I don't know what character you are, of course. But, um... I don't know what serve you're on. If you're looking for a, a Grand C... Of a Grand... Of a, an FC... Then, um... We definitely have something for you. And next week on the first day, we're going to be doing uh, sort of an event on the Discord channel in which we do dungeon runs and raids and just hopping in voice chat and have some fun. If you are interested in those sort of things, by all means, just, just join us or give me your character's name on and on which server it is because we are on Edementoys, which is actually located uh, down, down there. There, yes. I love this game so far. It's been so good. The story is getting better and better. A lot of reading at first. In Eva, right? Yes. In Eva. I'm a European playing on the North American server. <laughs> so, right click. And go. Um, I'll, I'll show if I do. There we go. I am most grateful to have it back. This tool is a keepsake from my days as a ship captain, you see. Needless to say, your good deeds must be repaid, and what better compensation than the wisdom of a master merchant? Cool. Yeah, yeah I'll, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, I'll add you to the, um, the Crossworld link shell, if you don't mind. This way, it's actually quite easy. If, if I'm ever playing and and you need to run a dungeon or I need to run a dungeon, it's, it's so easy. There's much more people on it as well. So, yeah. And, man, it's good. I love meeting people from other servers as well. It's been great. I will watch you make me bake. I have, have a good time baking, MC. Show pictures of it on Discord later, okay? Um, there we go. If it's a simple and sturdy adventuring equipment you seek, you need to look no further than the east and west arms of Hawkeye's Valley, or Ellie. Lest, lest be doubt, each gill you invest in the arms and armor will be money well spent. Adventuring is, after all, a dangerous profession by its very nature. It goes without saying that Hawkeye's Valley boasts stars specialize in the tools and every of every martial uh, discipline imaginable. And within uh, but a few steps are bazaars that epocate, uh, that will most aptly supply all your potions and perishable needs. Uh, Arkeen Eye Agent Procedure uh, Procure a frankly be baffling range of wares during their journeys to distant shores. Journeys, sojourns. Interesting. So it pays to become familiar with these types and prices of goods offered by each stall. Such knowledge will serve you well if you, if your purse is light or your time is short. I never don't really use the. Um, those shops all that much unless I'm buying like bait ah 
but verbal instructions of this kind will only profit you so much. Experience has ever been the truest teacher, if not the kindest. I invite you to explore the market for yourself. He is so kind. He is so kind. He can't wait to actually tell me. Hey, Battle Lampard, how you doing, man? Alright, let's go. Did I skip the Ephraim yet? I did not. Let's go run. And let's go Ephraim. Now, it might be that we need to buy, like, a, a helmet later. But that would be more of a, um, a storyline quest at level 5. It usually is. Ah, I feel so bad. I don't have that much time to stream today. It, you know, it is what it is, guys. Let's just keep it on this one. Uh, we could now go back. Uh, just go to... Wait. I'm actually at the Arcanes. Let's go over here. And from over here, we should find ourselves an area to go upstairs. If this is the one that I want, it is definitely yes. So we're at the Culinarians. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare to level up. That took me the longest. The, a good way to level up your crafters is using the uh, the leaf quests. Um, there's a few that are very interesting. And some that can actually... You can only do a few leaves a day. Um, and it's actually... You can, it's shown over here. You can have one of 30. That will go up. Uh, but your allowance is 16. You can do 16 of them a day. Doesn't sound like much, but if you're leveling crafters, yeah, it's going to be a lot. Now, also, these merchants can be amazing because you sometimes use in some of these blue yag and legs. If you, if you don't care about going into the world and collecting these goods, it's very useful. And the same goes for this shop here. This shop sells fish. So, here we go. Apparently, also the gunner. It's not only the marauder, but also the gunner. Let's attune here first. Now, it's possible, Bad Empire, that MC Wolfcat is not able to see your message because he's cooking. Okay, here we go. Here's the receptionist. Oi there, adventurer. Curious about Marauder's Guild, are you? An axe worth swinging needs two hands on the haft. And has a blade what can make short work of the galley mast. That's the kind of weapon our members train to use with deceptive swiftness. Deceptive swiftness. And all too predictable force. Are you interested in learning more, lass? Why, then why don't you give us... Uh, give you a shorter version of the guild found in history. Okay, cool. Um, I'm busy down the recipe. I don't need to wake up my phone at any time. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so. That sounds good, man. Sounds good. It's, it's not a game for me. It's not a game for me. But, um, I'm, I'm glad a lot of people are actually playing it. So, okay, so it started with ships, you see. What ships got to do with axes, you ask? Well, building them would be pretty bloody difficult without the sturdy tool to lop down these trees for timbers. And since only the navigator herself know when a ship's uh, run afoul of the storm or worse, it makes sense for the cruise carpenter to carry an axe on board. Aye. It's all started with a ship building a ship repairs. So it all started with ship building and ship repairs. What? Am I boring you? Yeah, you do. Well, what a, um, as 
I was saying, any tool on the ship can become a weapon, and an axe was perfect for hooking yourself over the rail of an enemy vessel, letting loose a whirl of steel, and generally laying waste to all about you. As more seafarers took up the axe as a weapon of choice, so did the bloody art of the marauders begin to take shape, especially amongst pirates, where strength and the skill decided your place in the world. With an eye of two assembling crews of battle-ready raiders, the pirates started teaching the proper ways of wielding a chopping blade to their new recruits, and that's how the Marauder Guild first came to be. But once the Galonian Accord was signed to unite the Maelstrom and the pirates against Limsian's enemies, the whole game changed. The Accord itself was a um, dismal failure, of course, but the Marauder's Guild was never the same. It was taken over, restructured and purged of its pirate elements. It had been reborn as an institution uh, dedicated to not, but the teaching of the ex-fighting. The members of this new Marauder's Guild weren't so greedy driven cutthroats. Uh, either they were warriors that sought to use their martial prowess for the good of society. If mastering an axe is your heart's desire, then you'll find no better place in which to pr uh, practice your swings. Think it over. Then, let me know if you fancy joining our ranks. I have a feeling you'll be s we'll be seeing more of you soon, lads. I like that. I like that. Here we go. I'll do it again. You've decided to swing an axe with the Marauders then? Of course I do. Now, we get money. We get, we, we, we get experience and we get food. And the food... Skill speed is nice, vitality is good, not the best stats, but the XP bonus is going to be relatively nice. Like, you don't really need it, but I do plan on leveling multiple classes, and one of them is the Arcanist, and then later we'll, we'll just see what we fancy. It's going to be important. We're just going to be having fun, and this is going to be... Years. Guys, this is going to be years. Alright then. All you need to do now is speak with the axe master himself. Sounds simple. I've seen folks slink out the door rather than putting themselves in the path of that... Unavan Galair? That's the bloke right there in the middle of the room. Uh, Warzum's his name. Put some steel in your spine and look him straight into the eye when you talk to him, lass. Good fortune to you. Right. And we have a dancing bunny. Always nice. Ah, I'm Rome. Uh, Warren Zoom. Soon. X Master, they call me. Now the most imaginative of titles. I agree. It's not the most imaginative of titles. I agree. But one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome your interest in our guild. The art of marauding is used to rend, to cleave, and to destroy. It is not our way of simply outfighting the adventurers. We seek to overwhelm them. A marauder must be the most powerful and enduring presence on the battlefield. We must account for the most for most enemies defeated. Our role in combat is that of a steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. No doubt the question has already been put to you by Blautota, but once more I shall challenge you to commit. Are you prepared for the bloody carnage that awaits the initiative uh, initiated of the Marauders Guild? Yeah, man. I love carnage. Ah. That's why we invented showers. Very well. Your name. Attend me well, then, Ume. Hold fast to the po to the moment of um, dedication. I thought for a moment there was a decapitation, but it's dedication. Yeah, I'm dyslectic like crazy, so I will make up words left, right, and center. The path of the marauder is a jagged and perilous one. The blood that splits 
uh, spells at your feet will often, oftentimes be your own. That's why we have this gear. You stand now as a student of the axe. Let us waste no time in testing the edges of your chosen weapon. You shall um, wade straightway into combat as benefits a novice of our discipline. Go forth and slay the uh, bleeding, curling, crawling pest that plays the outskirts of Limsa Liminza. Lost Lamp, Wolf Rats, and Little Ladybugs shall be your Pytus adventures. This day, wow, my god, I have to kill Pest. Great. Return to me once free of each creature have fallen to your blade. Sure. We'll do it. Um, but we're not going to right away. Uh, I think we will go back to Beldrin. And did I attune? I think we still need the Aft Castle, by the way. Uh, yeah, we need the Aft Castle. And that will unlock multiple areas for us. So let's go. I love the look of the city. That that spile over there is so good. Really think it's brilliant. Okay, F Castle is straight ahead. So uh, I will make sure that next time I'm actually part of my own free company. It's not large. It's just, yeah, it's still small. But eventually, event at some point we will grow it. It's more or less a thing for when we uh, want to run things together. So yeah. Okay, let's attune over here. And now we will get a notification about there is more things have been added. So if you click now over here. I have to wait until all of these messages go away. Click over here. And there's the other. We have uh, the middle uh, uh, Le Nostre. We have the lower Nostre and the airship landing. Now, and from the ferry that is in lower decks. You can actually go to Western Teladon at some point. So keep that in mind. You have an easy way of traveling there that I don't think it costs you that much money. I'm not particularly sure on that. This is uh, the Grant Company, uh, the Maelstrom memory. And eventually we'll pick up more. So now let's go to the ranch. Get the first mission from him. I think he is also sending you outside. That's why I want to take it right away. So we don't have to backtrack. Ah, there you are. Une. Enjoying the, 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 uh, your jaunt around the city, did you? If you mean to base yourself on Limsa Luminza, that won't be the last time that you'll visit them three places. And now you've got some idea on what's where... You can start exploring the rest of the town. I don't want to. But. Um, you've shown a good ear of listening, lass. Stick with the mold, um, Bedron, and you'll go far. There we go, we got some money finally. <laughs> And he's actually, we need to go and level up some more. Man, I was hoping to do some. I think it's level five. Is it? Level four. We're so close. Now we could do a mission over here if we want to. Uh, but we're not going to. Uh, we're going straight outside. It is unfortunately dark. Which is a bit of a shame. It's what it is. Ugh. I wish I could play longer today. So I think we need to go to the middle over there. And we will. And we're going to be keeping ourselves to... Our rule. And our rule is to always go to the if right. Now we can just start cleaving. Yeah, finally battle. Like battle. Here we go. And we should get a new uh, skill at 4. Okay, he's a bit more tough. Uh, we did get food, right? Did we not? 
We did not. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, you will have to do some of these again later when you get the hunting log. But, you know, that's just easy pest. Uh, the items that you might receive from these, the monster drops, some of them you might want to keep if you plan on doing uh, crafting. So you don't have to buy them. Now, I believe that everything up to level 15, doing crafting jobs, uh, you could buy everything from the broker over there. But it would cost money. I hate spending money. Uh, should I just get rid of this? Could you, can I use monu, minion roulette? No way. Oh well. Come on, man. Level me up. It will level you up. And we'll get our second skill. Go on, final one. Uh, chain bonus is so that you will get um, more experience level and there we go we now have maim delivering uh, an attack with the potency of a hundred but if you do this after your first one the heavy swing that has a potency of 150 it will have a potency of 250 so it's definitely better and the crystal is over there most of these mobs aren't aggressive. So if they're blue, they're not aggressive. If they are red, which we can't see over here, like there's a triangle, a triangle, they are aggressive. And there's always uh, some of these aggressive monsters. I think it's going either by sight or sound. So if you find yourself doing... I don't know why, but if you find yourself in a dungeon all by yourself, I think most mobs are actually triggered by sound. So you can actually stop the auto run. And you can probably go to the boss without too much difficulties. I say probably because I have yet to test that. But I know there's a YouTuber who is um, doing this game oh my god that's so cool uh doing this game on hard mode man that is so nice and he's just he's not doing he's not allowed to use gear that he gets he just allows him to build the gear that he has and he has to solo he doesn't join a free company all of that stuff now we have teleportation and we have return. Return is free and you can cast this every uh, 900 seconds. I think it's... How long is that? A long time, I think. Like 15 minutes or so? Uh, we can actually change that system config. Um, I'll do that later, actually. I'm not going to do that. I can be caught up in configurations and stuff for a long time. So let's definitely not do that let's go to the marauders guild return our quest and we are almost level five if we get level five we will get another quest from him every five levels you get a quest ah uh, you are returned to me a different woman already your face shows a harder cast a realization of the slaughter of which you are capable but there is much training to be done before you will wield an axe to its uh, fullest potential. Learn well your lessons, build your strength, and make of each swing an instinctive act. You shall have the hunting log, there we go, the hunting log, to aid you in your endeavor. Its pages are marked with opponents suitable for honing your skills. There are, of course, uh, myriad methods by which you might improve your techniques. Then the way forward is not ready, ready, apparent, uh, apparent, readily, 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 readily apparent. The law provides a suitable source of challenges. 
Every blow of your weapon will clear another step towards the mastery of the Marauder's Way. Implacable, uh, relentless, such must be your momentum on both the practice ground and the battlefield. So the next one is on pond 5. And uh, we get more XP. We didn't level up, which is fine. We will now go to the uh, to Beldron and we go to Summerfort and Summerfort is actually the place where we already went so we can now teleport to it uh, but that will cost you a tiny bit of money it's up to you if you find it is good enough I don't think it's too problematic so yeah oh yeah that's look that looks so nice I love that. Seagull over there. Ah. Man, this game looks so good. I love it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Beldron. The Drowning Witch Proprietor. Beldron, proprietor of the Drowning Witch, wants you to lend a hand to some of the fun. And we get the option to get either the Disciple of War of all classes or money now we will of course go with the disciple of war but this is not really the gear that you're looking for as a future tank we need to get um, what's it called again tenacity I think still in limbs eye only well I need to fence your trip outside the city walls I like it to visit the orchard name of the Sumford Farms. Ever heard of the place? The owner, Stelwyn, is an old maid of mine. He's got himself a crew of mostly reformed pirate types, if you can believe that, and has been trying to bring a bit of the life back into the fields after the calamity ruined the soil. He mentioned, he mentioned needing another, and another hand or two. And your name sprang to mind. I'll. Uh, I gave you a glowing recommendation. <laughs> so make sure you work hard and impress the old bastard. You need directions. The place ain't hard to find. Just take the Severin Gate out of the city and follow the road northeast. Well, or just teleport. was involved in a minor accident today. Dad was driving me to an appointment when the idiot drove into us on a roundabout. Totally his fault. Braved my door in, but I'm okay. Dude. Fuck. Was it slow? What the fuck? Yeah, man. What, what the fuck? But now I can't open the front door. Like, I don't know how insurance works. Uh, in America. But, uh, I hope. I hope the insurance will be having a field day with him. So, we can now go to teleport and we can say, hey, we can go to Summerfoot Farms and it will cost us 145. Now, when we uh, join the free company, I kind of want to make sure that we have teleportation rates or XP up. XP is not too important since we will get a good amount of it. Uh, so, we can also decide on whether or not we want companions, like the Chocobo at level 30, to level up faster. But, yeah. That's stuff for later. Now, why do we take this gate? Well, now we have a new icon here above the rats. Let's go to outside. There we go. And this is because they're part of the hunt log. So we have to kill ladybugs again, wolf rats, and bees, and all of this. This will give us XP, and when this is all done, you will get more XP. You can do this all the way up to level 50. You won't reach level 50, and there's an ad going to be starting soon, so sorry for that. Well, not really, but, you know, I did assign. Man, that second skill probably won't need it, but it's good. And we will level up a lot. Hey, he's done. We see ladybugs down there. Let's get this over with. Now, at some point, we will actually get an area of effect skill. 
which is going to be extremely handy. And unfortunately, when we start leveling up a lot, it will have an effect on us. Because when we join a dungeon, we will be level synced. It's the same as when you join a... Uh, what's it called? A faith? So you will be level synced to that faith. Uh, right now, if we would do a faith, it will give us money and experience. Later, when we're part of the free company, it will also give you... Or actually, when you're part of the grand company... It will give you grand company tokens and if you're part of a free company the free company will gain um, experience for that and with the experience the free company gets the level could increase and it would actually give you more benefits so i like it that's why i want to make sure that this character is in a free in my free company asap so this one's level four a bit more sturdy and there we go. We upped ourselves a bit of a level. And we do a lot more damage already. Um, now we do want to get ourselves a better weapon. We got ourselves a bit of honey. There's another big cloud. I think level 6 is when we get another skill. Okay, let's go over to the farm. Talk to the um, the guy we need to talk to. Man, I oh, there's mandrakes as well. That's so nice. Let's go. Love it when they prevent themselves. Oh, yeah, I don't have a uh, thing yet. I was actually hoping that he would die. There we go, we got ourselves Berserk, um, which allows us to, okay, grant three stacks of Berserk. Each stack uh, guaranteeing weapon skill attacks are critical and direct hits, increasing damage dealt when under the effect of a raising critical uh, hit rate and direct hit rate. So, if we actually have more of that, the attacks will be higher. Not sure if I will keep it right over here, but for now, I will. Where's the guy? Is he over there? No, he should be up here. Um, let's go right over there. Ah, you must be the adventurer Belden promised to send along. Une Dawson, was it? Uh, Dawson, yeah. Yeah, you honor his words. So, that's a good start. I'm Stalwin, an old bastard, as Balden likely described me. And this here is my humble orchard. A good number of lads and lesses working here once terrorized the high seas. And if you're wondering why I employed these scrags, well, they used to be crew of my pirate ship. But the calamity did... Um, but the calamity did for our ship like it did so many others and I was sore wounded into the bargain Shadow, how are you doing man? Meep 23 months, that's sick dude, thank you how is life? how are you doing? I had to feed myself and my crew somehow the Admiral Merle B's initiative to get us landlocked buccaneers working the field seemed too fine of an offer to refuse. And that's trouble walking around. Well, it turns out you can take the pirate away from the sea, but you can't take the sea away from the pirate. A lot of my, uh, a lot of my blokes, just never took the tending the soil. You see, 
And unfortunately, the botanist I called to train them has been wringing their hands in black despair. With so much work piling up, I need a tougher soil like you to step in and help where it's needed. Tough, tougher soil, not soil. Uh, it goes good, can't stay long here, woke up, gotta be ready for work. I, I, I can only stay for another 12 minutes as well. So yeah, I get it, man. Have a good day at work. I honestly hope you and the family are doing great. Thank you for the sub, I honestly appreciate that. There we go. So we can actually immediately go for X in the stone, which will most likely give us a new quest. And... We'll start with him first. This will also give us a new X. I think X in the stone might give us the same. So if we get an X that's better than the X that we receive from him, we might just go with the money. It's not much, it's only one bag of 100 gil. But since we only have 210, can't really complain about it now, can we? This leather grill, uh, Gilmore is actually handy for when we do the Arcanist, because it's also going for the Summoner and for the Scholar. Not sure if we would take that just to be future-proofing ourselves. I have a mind to set you a task, Dozen. But before I do, I need to be sure you're probably kitted out. Pirates don't care to parlay with dandies. You understand? You might well be... That the... It might well be that the ones here have traded in their cutlasses for sculptors, but they're still rogues at heart. I know the soul, uh, the solid. Uh, I know a solid set of gear when I see it. Come back when you think you're more suitably equipped. So we need to equip ourselves. Uh, our, our headgear, our body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level 5 or greater. Now, local, right now, I don't think we have... Yeah, we can actually change the boots and a ring. Let's do that. So the boots are item level 5 and the rest is... We need a headpiece. That's all that we need. We need a headpiece of level uh, 5. So, yeah. We'll get that done. For now, let us head back to our Marauders Guild. In 36 seconds, we can actually teleport for free. So let's not spend the money. It's also possible that one of the quests around here gives you the helmet. Uh, might be in here. No, no, no one in here. Never mind. So let's check that out real quick. I'm not going to do quests that have no value for us. So a tiny bit of money and some potion. I don't care about that. And there is an area in here. No? Hmm. He's at the back then. That's the point. Because I don't think the Marauders Guild will actually give you a helmet. And nor will they. Never mind. Uh, let's return. We could just pick one up. It should not be too expensive, but we are relatively broke. Marauders Guild. Let's take a look what he wants. Oh, there we go. There we go. Item level 5. This is a headpiece. So, make sure you get the headgear if you want to progress without actually spending money or go for the money. But, sells for 25 gil. So, this is roughly 125 gil. We do get an X. So, I'm actually going to be taking the money from the distress call mission. So, X Master Wiserun wishes you to experience a traditional Marauder training method. Bune, you approach me with a Marauder stride, determination and uh, swerving, and the threat of the hesitation that marks our first meeting. 
I am pleased. The time has come for you to begin the new stage of your training. Now, what sets an axe aside from a gladius or a dagger? It is a raw, unstoppable destruction wrought by its thick, heavy blade. And that overwhelming power can only be properly, properly directed by an extraordinary physical strength. Thus, we come to the come to the core of this today's lesson. Of this day's lesson, the such strength as a marauder such must possess its develop, development through a traditional method passed down through the generations of the guild, a method that you too shall be taught to employ. Present yourselves to Broom Bar in the practice area downstairs, and he shall instruct you further. Okay. Ooh, it's over here. And then let's go down. Uh, the ex-master told you that I'd be on my own, uh, that you'd be on your way. My name is Brunba. Good. It is to meet a new marauder. Now, we ex-wielders build strength and control by sp uh, build strength and control by splitting boulders. That's right. Our traditional methods involve smashing a rock with your ex, but you can't use just any old swing. You need to hit the rock just so. Uh, Rodgeim, a fellow marauder, is waiting just outside the Zephyr Gate by the bridge over the Rogue River. She'll she'll tell you how it's done. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's go. Why not? Let's head outside again. Now here's a few of these faves, level 4, level 3. I'm probably not going to do that right now, right now. I also want to change these two around. Close this. I could have taken that bridge. Oh well. Yes, yes, let's uh, go out of first person. Greetings, lads. Ready to split some stone, are you? I've three nice hard rocks for you to build up a sweat. Don't try nothing fancy now. Just hit him with a good solid heavy swing. Hit the wrong button. That's one. And train. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's the way to do it, lass. Now, you've got the idea. Why don't you why don't you have at them a little harder with a heavy swing of yours? Hold nothing back. I'm hoping I'm not going to be attacked by these, but we'll see. Yeah. Of course we are. Okay, fine. Alright, heavy swing. Yeah. Now, this will most likely fail, so don't be surprised if it says uh, Faith failed. Because I am not going to be investing in them right now. I think we'll do that whenever we get ourselves to the grand company and free company. So then it actually benefits us a bit. Yeah. I can see you're a natural. My head's still ringing from the sound of cracking boulders. Take yourself to the axe master and let him know you're ready for something harder. Yeah. 
unfortunately our return is not ready yet so we'll just uh I, can we take this area yes limbs alone minza's lower decks Such a shame that it, the running only takes like 20 seconds. And then you know, if you're in combat and you use it, it's only 10. So later on, when you're going to be pulling, you want to use your sprint before you do a pull. Now, I'm not an expert, so I will make a lot of mistakes and I will rely on you guys to actually help me with that. Now, this is the final thing that I'll do. And I'll, uh, I'll store my character in here. Because of the moon, I will build up some bonus XP just for the next uh, time we actually have time to stream. Has the training loosened your muscles and focused your mind, you know? An urgent request from help has arrived from the Red Rooster's uh, steed, and I have chosen you to respond. It appears a hostile group of megalo crabs has unwittingly erected itself to next test your prowess. As this is your first out outing on official marauder duty, I shall be accompanied, you shall be accompanied by a Veda Conjurer by the name of Soul Wipe. She awaits you on the floor below. May devastation follow in your wake. Okay, well, I thought this quest was done, which is a shame, but, you know. Let's go complete this quest still. Here we go. I, Une, I know who you are. My brother often offered, often has me escort his fledgling marauders on their more dangerous tasks. I support Wizen ex expects, uh, I suppose Wizen expects me to give you the details then. Very well. It seems a farmer needs us to clear out the megalo crab nest near the mooring widow in Lower La Nosse. Noske. Yeah, in lower. I shall trust you to find your way here. Just don't forget your ex. Oh yeah, you can't, you would be very dense if you forget an ex. So we're heading into another area now. Now, this ether right, I'm not going to pick up until later. Because it is quite a distance. I'll show you on the map in a second. It's right over there, and it's still a run, and the, t the uh, monsters around here, I believe, are in the range of level, like, 10 to 20. So, yeah, I'm um, not going to be putting myself in that much harm already. Not as level 6, with any, any proper gear. Okay, let's go all the run, with R. This is most likely... Is there any? I thought these would actually be a hunt. Apparently they're not. Those are. Those over here. Those uh, jellyfish. They are a hunt. See? So we'll definitely deal with that. Uh, let's deal with them right now. We're close to a new level. So we have the berserk. Should be enough. And that's the end of the berserk, unfortunately. There we go. There we go. Not a new skill, unfortunately. We could also take food, but considering I will have to end shortly, I think that would be a mistake. Okay, here we go. Nest. Hmm. Looks if no one's home. Perhaps they knew we were coming. Eight. I need eight. Ah, please. It's my grandson. They uh, snippers got him. I told Sigurd not to get too close. I told him. Get that weapon ready, Une. We need to move now. Yeah, I'm absolutely a pro at voice acting, I know. 
All right, here we go. So, yeah, we will be synced to level 9. We will most likely get a, uh, a skill for that. I think. Ah, bugger, bugger, and shite. Okay, get away from me, you bloody great bastard. <laughs> Miraculously, with with the X on my back, would probably not the best idea. He's like, yeah, better you than me, huh? Well, we don't didn't get a skill, but we'll start with the ads. Like we don't have any means to get to keep the aggro on us. I will suit your wounds. Yeah, fuck. You do whatever you want. Zoom out a bit. Uh, I think yeah, there, there's more coming in. I want to deal with this one as soon as possible. Okay, adds first. Because they, they require less damage. I'd rather phase one. It does a bit more. But phase three. It's not annoying if you get like staggered. And there is uh, Roombar as well. Going to be aiding us. Let's go with the Berserk. Oh, he's making short work of those. That was fast. I like it. Three minutes. Not even. Two and a half. Thank you, miss. I thought I was dead for sure. Can't even play outside no more. With all um, that... Uh, what? With all of these scary monsters. About... My mom and my dad. They were both killed by some nasty bugger not so long ago. And... Uh, and Arshuk, a big as a mountain. I think this is some sort of a ball. But I bet you could beat it. Aye. Make it pay for whatever it did to me, folks. You take it easy now, son. There's a whole guild full of snap strapping lads and lasses and like, uh, like Une here. Who'd gladly do that. All you need to do is head home with your grandpa. Let us worry about that big nasty bugger. We will do. Consider your first duty a success, you know. It's time for you had. Uh, it's time you head back as well before Wizen begins to worry. I left you. Uh, I left your corpse for the crap. My God, that's so dark. Alright, uh, we can actually return, and we will. We'll spend a lot more time in here, so we don't have to worry about the hunts just yet. We're already over, over leveled, so to say. Because this, this, this stress call mission is like level five, I think. Yeah, we just get, we just don't have whatever it is that we need. So, Marauder. So we're already over leveled by two, and this will most likely level us up. Uh, another level. There we go. So you've shattered the shell of the megalo crabs and saved the life of a child into the bargain. Thus, um, thus does our vic a violent craft prove its merit. Well done, Une. Though no longer a threat to the farmers, you should know that it's unusual for such crabs to be found so near to the stead. By all accounts, the creatures were outside a uh, usual feeding grounds. 
by a more fierce beast. Okay. The beast of which I speak is known as the terror in the land of Nanosa. Nanoske? I will have someone on Discord actually pronounce this to me. Over seeking to expand its territory. And that boy's parents were to, but two of its many victims to fall to its rampage. It is a threat that must be dealt with along. Do thoughts, though thoughts of vengeance fill through your minds. Natural, na uh, nature, n nurture, nurture, nurture those urges, but do not act uh, yet act upon them. It's monstrosity is far beyond your present skills if you were answer the lad's cry for revenge then you must grow stronger become a raging behemoth with uh, this challenge demands okay so we're going for the eyes and the x and then come on wait it's getting in my oh i don't like that i don't like my new gear to get into my armory it's fine for now. I'll change that later. There we go. And now this one is green. And we can do that next time. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, I hope you still enjoyed. It's not too long. It's just, just two hours. And I don't know when the next time is be. Uh, we'll see. We'll see when I can actually do it a bit more. Um, just keep in mind, uh, in a few days on the Discord, we will have an event where we start on my other character, running dungeons and raids, maybe do some treasure hunts, I don't know, yet. Um, so, if you want to join for that, be sure to be a member of the Discord. Um, you could join the cross-world link shell if you're on Aether, or join the free company. It's still small, but i rather have a few good people than 500 people that are never there. So... Thank you for now, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon, hopefully.